In 2004, a magnitude 9 earthquake devastated this region, and yet these magnitude 8 earthquakes caused no damage. They were caused by different tectonic processes, as we will show. Let's look at the tectonic setting. The Indian and Australian oceanic plates are diving beneath the Sunda plate. The area between the two oceanic plates is a zone of broad deformation. East of the epicenter of today's earthquake, the Indian plate is diving beneath the Sunda plate. In cartoon cross-section, we can look at the locked plates pushing eastward. In 2004, the earthquake occurred between the subducting Indian plate and the overlying Sunda plate, causing the overlying plate to rebound upward. The recent earthquakes were not in the subduction zone. This map shows the position of the 2004 earthquake in the subduction zone relative to the magnitude 8 earthquakes, which were likely due to a left lateral strike slip component within the Indian plate. These are consistent with a north-northeast trend of earthquakes since 1990. Though most of the aftershocks broadly fit this trend in the region, it is complicated. There isn't a single fault plane. There was no uplift as the plates ground horizontally past each other, thus no tsunami was generated. The curvature of the earth prevents the plates from moving without fracturing. Stress from plate interaction causes compression, deformation, and faulting.